Martha here with you and this is the first day of our 18 days of Christmas here on the La La Land Crafts blog. So basically every day this or for the next 18 days we're going to be featuring one of our designers from our wonderful team. So there won't be any separate Team Friday or Team Monday posts um, for the next 18 days. It's just going to be 18 days straight of holiday inspiration and um, it's just going to be really really fun. So we're super excited for that. Um, so I am kicking it off and uh, my project for today we're going to be making a 6 by 6 by 3 inch deep um, reinforced box, gift box with a lid. So I'm super excited to do that with you guys. Um, so I have some products here uh, kind of already pre-done just so we're not here forever because we're kind of focusing on quick and easy projects for the holiday season that we can just get done get a gift in and get it out the door um nothing that's going to take you know two to three hours um so i've already got my front panel already here so uh I'll, the names of and the links for everything will be listed below so if you're seeing this on youtube It'll be linked below the YouTube video. Either that or I'll have a link to the blog where you can... That's what we'll do. I'll have a link to the blog and then you'll be able to uh, find all the links right there. So I've used several of the dies, the new dies from the um, November new release on here. And then I've also used the beautiful Santa Molly. And then we're using the blue Christmas paper pad and it, it is just gorgeous. I, I don't think I've ever had a harder time picking papers that I wanted to use um, for two reasons. One because I didn't want to cut into these papers and the other reason is I love every single paper in this paper pad. Um, so we've got the paper here, we've got the Santa Molly and then the Dear Santa I've Been Nice-ish that comes with her as well. Um, or sorry, Santa Mona not Santa Molly. Um, so really, really cute uh, panel we've created there. And like I said, everything's gonna be listed uh, on the blog. The links to the products we use and the coloring details will all be on the blog. Okay. All right, so let's get started on the actual box itself. Um, so here we've got our top and our no, sorry, this is the bottom and this is the top. So let's start with the top. Um, so what I've done here, this is a 12 by 12 piece of uh, white cardstock, just um, medium weight. You could do heavy weight, doesn't really matter either way. Um, and what I've done is I've scored at one and a half and three on all four sides. So one and a half, three, turn, one and a half, three, one and a half, three, and then one and a half, three on all four sides, okay? And then for the bottom of the box, what we did so that it would fit better, and I saw one of my favorite YouTubers do this, um, Mixed Up Crafts, she does, um, she did this. Um, so the, um, what I've done is I've cut a sixteenth of an inch off of two sides of my 12 by 12 paper. So I cut it off this side and this side, okay? So you're going to want to do opposite sides. So you wouldn't want to do this side and this side, or this side and this side, you want to do opposite sides. I've cut a sixteenth of an inch off of this side and a sixteenth of an inch off of this side. And then what I did is I still scored at three inches all the way around. So three, 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 and three. But it's going to make the box itself, the bottom of the box, just that little bit smaller so that our lid fits on there really good, okay? So let's get started with cutting the lid. Out. I've got a piece of hair floating around here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut up, this is kind of hard to see on the white cardstock, I hope you guys can see it well. We're going to cut up this score line here. So cut all the way up to there to pass the first score line to the second score line there, okay? Then we're going to do the same thing here. Cut up to the second score line, okay, and then you're going to turn it, and you're going to cut this section, these two squares here, completely out, like that, and then this one completely out, 
as well. And then what we'll do is we'll actually do notch that in a little bit more on both sides just like that okay and I'm just gonna cut a bit more of this one off okay so you're gonna want to do this on all four sides okay and then for the bottom you're gonna kind of it's kind of the same concept except we're not actually cutting any pieces away you're gonna want to cut up this score line just like that okay and then on the inside here you're gonna want to take out a little wedge just like this okay and you're gonna do that on all four sides Okay guys, so now we've got all of our sides cut out, just like this, on both of our pieces, so our top and our bottom. So before I actually put it together, I do want to put my pattern paper on. So the pattern paper for the lid that I'm putting on the sides measures five and three quarters by one and a quarter. All right, and we're just gonna nestle that right in there all right and then the ones for the bottom measure five and three quarters by two and three quarters so I'm just going to go ahead and attach all my papers All right, so I've got all my papers attached, so now we can go ahead and fold in all of our score lines. So just go all the way around and fold them all in. You could do this step too before you start cutting. It's really totally a preference thing. Sometimes I do it before I start cutting. Sometimes I do it after. It really just depends. So just fold them all in. Just like so. Make sure to try to keep it nice and straight as you're folding it in. All right, so now let's go ahead and get started with the bottom of the box. I'm just going to attach some double-sided tape, just like so, one on each end, and then one in the middle on my bottom. I've attached all the tape and just going to burnish it down now. So we're going to start by removing uh, the backings of this section here. Now if you do not feel comfortable 
with um, dry adhesive like this with double sided tape go ahead and use wet glue and you'll give yourself a little like a minute longer to get it lined up and everything but I'm pretty comfortable so we've got our tape off so we're just going to bring it in to this side line it up on this side here make sure it's nice and square and then give it a good press down and then you can go ahead and just burnish it in here. Alright, so got a nice square side there. So I will show you one more really quick here. And then we'll get to our lid. So just remove your backings. And if you are just using wet glue, just go ahead and put it all over that. And then that's good. So now, again, just bring it in, make sure it's lined up at the edge here. And just press it down, give it a good press down. Just like so. Right, so we've got the bottom of the box all nice and put together. Okay, it's looking really good. So now let's work on the top of the box. So what we're going to do basically is we're going to bring this tab in, fold it under, and then once you've got that done, this tab here, this extra one we've created here, is going to go over the top. But first I'm going to go around and I'm going to attach all of my inner tabs here. So what I'm going to do before I start is I'm going to go ahead and attach my tape to all of my one and a half by six inch sections, the tops, okay? Just along the top. Alright, I've got that all done. So now I'm going to go ahead and just use a little tape runner and I'm just going to put tape on the outsides of all of these tabs here just because it doesn't need to be super heavy duty adhesive because um, the double sided tape is going to get folded over it anyways. So just bring them in like this and line them up. Make sure you've got it lined up really nice and square on your side there. Then you can go ahead and burnish it down and then we'll do the same thing on this side here. Make sure it's lined up really nice. Burnish it. And then same thing on this side. Get it as nice and square as you can. And then burnish that. And then the last one here should pretty much go exactly where it should. <clears throat> but if you're a control freak like me, you're going to try to control it into place anyways. All right, so now all of these sections here, we're just going to remove the backings and fold them down um, over, them, over the other one and a half inch section. So let me just get the backings off here. Alright, so now all we're going to do with this flap here is fold it down and press it down, okay? So go ahead and do that, give it a good burnish and that makes it look all nice and clean on the inside too. And then just go ahead and do that on the other three.
So we've got our nice sturdy lid all done. Now it's the moment of truth. Make sure we have a nice fitting lip box here. And we do, it fits perfectly on there as you can see. Look how gorgeous those papers are on this box. I just can't get over it, how beautiful those papers are. All right, so now all we need to do is add our beautiful Santa Mona on the top and our box is finished. So let's just put some double-sided tape on the back of this here just because it's a bit of a heavier piece, just like so, and then we can remove our backings. I love this little tool for that. All right, and then we can just pop her right on top where we want it, and we can just take the lid off so we can give it a good press in the back here. And then our lid goes back on, and our cute little box is finished. Look how beautiful, and all of these stunning products just work so beautifully together. So like I said, um, everything will be listed on the blog post. So I'm going to have the link, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll have the link below this video to the blog and you will be able to um, find all the products we used and all the coloring details and um, everything like that. So I really hope you enjoyed this today. I really enjoyed this beautiful box and making it for you guys. So I hope you have a wonderful day and a very Merry Christmas.